Hello friends, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our first session for progression in series. In this uh, session, we are going to discuss the basics of arithmetic progression, right? Uh, you might have studied arithmetic progressions in your junior classes also, right? So, let's have a quick recap what is an arithmetic progression, then we'll proceed for the uh, higher level concepts, okay? So, let's begin the session and just get ready with your paper and pen. So, friends, first thing that we see is the is a sequence sequence uh, that means there are various terms in a sequence right now maybe the sequence i just can write an, a random sequence 1 3 7 9 2 11 right all these are terms of a sequence right now you can see they are not following any pattern right now what happens if they are not following any pattern these are just sequence okay now what what is progression it is not necessary that the terms of a sequence always follow a certain pattern or they are described by a some explicit formula for nth term right now what if they are following a, a pattern right so those sequence whose terms follow certain patterns are called progressions right suppose i have 2 4 6 8 right now what um, i can say what will be the nth term nth term that means tn that will be 2n okay if i put n is equal to 1 i'll be getting first term if i put n is equal to 2 i'll be getting a second term 3 4 and so on right so whenever there is a possibility of getting an nth term we call that sequence to be progression right because there is some relationship among the terms among between two consecutive terms that is there is definitely a relationship here we can see the difference between these two, these two and these two is same. Okay, so that is just one example. And if the difference is same, it is known to be AP, that is arithmetic progression. So various types of progressions are there. But the main thing or the important thing, if the terms follow certain pattern, then we call the sequences to be progressions. Okay. Now the first prog uh, type of progression is that arithmetic progression, right? A sequence is called an AP, that is arithmetic progression, if the difference of a term and the previous term is always same, right? Now what, as I have already given you the example or other examples can be taken, maybe 7, 14, 21, 28, 35 and so on. And this calculation is going up to, this uh, sequence is going up to 70. Now you can see, the difference between these two and these two, these two, these two is same. Okay. So when the difference between two consecutive terms remains same throughout the series, then the series is called to be AP, right? Difference between two consecutive terms, right? Between two consecutive terms is important. Between two consecutive terms, if the difference is same, then it is known to be AP. That is arithmetic progression. Okay. In this entire sequence, the difference is 7 between two consecutive term right so this difference is known to be common difference because it is common among all the consecutive pairs so we call it as common difference right this is known to be the first term and this is last term Right. Now, sometimes it may happen that this last term is not there. That means the sequence or the series is infinite. That means infinite terms are there. Then we are not able to find out the last term. Right. So, in that case, we just define nth term. Nth term means what? If you put value of n as uh, 1, you should be getting the first term. If you put n is equal to 2, you should be getting the second term. If you put n is equal to 3, then the third term and so on. Right? So, in this case, nth term is what? 7n. Okay? Because all of them are multiple of 7. So, if you put n is equal to 1, you'll get first term. If you put n is equal to 2, you'll get second term and so on. Right? So, this is first term, this is last term and common difference is 7. Okay? Now, if we generalize this, what would happen? I assume the first term is a. Then the second term will be a plus d. The third term will be a plus 2d fourth term will be a plus 3d right 
the difference between these two is what d difference between these two d difference between these two d and so on so the common difference is d so uh, all of these are uh, terms of an ap okay now you see this is the first term second term third term fourth term in first term there is no d in second term there is one d in third term there is there are two d's in the fourth term there are three d's that means in nth term c a is always there this is first term i tell i say it is as t1 then this is t2 then this is 3 t3 this is t4 so if i wish to write tn what that will be if it is 4 over here it is 3 over here if it is 3 then it is 2 if it is 2 it is 1 that means if it is n it will be n minus 1 and this is d d should be one less than the uh, position of the term okay so this is what nth term of an ap if you put n is equal to 1 you will be getting first term if you put n is equal to 2 you will be getting second term and so on so this is a general arithmetic progression okay so nth term of an arithmetic progression is denoted by tn that is nth term is a plus n minus 1 t right similarly we can find out the formula for sum of all the terms right sum i'm assuming the arithmetic sequence to be a a plus d a plus 2d till a plus n minus 1d right so sum will be what a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d till a plus n minus 1d right now i have to add all the numbers so what i do sum is equal to now a how many times i am getting till nth term a is going on so n time a i'll be getting so it is n a there are if there are 2a i'll be getting 2a 3a then 3a so there are n times a so i'll be getting n a plus here um, the not d is not there so we start d with this so d plus 2d plus 3d till n minus 1d okay so s is equal to na plus i take d as common so i'll be getting 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n minus 1 okay so that is actually n minus these are actually n minus 1 terms right and it is starting from 1 so what is the sum of natural numbers first n natural numbers sum of first n natural numbers is n n plus 1 by 2 right so if we wish to find out sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers so in that case we'll put the value of this n as n minus 1 okay this is the sum of first n natural number formula and if we wish to find out the sum of first n minus 1 natural number because we want that only so instead of n we'll put n minus 1 so n n minus 1 then n plus 1 will will be n so sum of all these will be n n minus 1 by 2 okay so i put that okay now what i can do i can take n as common first i take lcm Two n a plus n d n minus one by two. Okay, now I can take n as common, so it will be n by two. Two a plus n minus one t. So that is the formula for sum of all the terms. Okay, sum of all the terms of an AP. So that's pretty simple. so we have discussed the formula for nth term and sum of all the terms of an arithmetic progression now we have some important properties of arithmetic progression so let's discuss them one by one now first of all let's write down that arithmetic progression that is a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d till 
a plus n minus 1 d. This is the arithmetic progression that we are having. Now what if I add a constant number maybe k to each term, right? So let's see what happens. It's a plus k, a plus k plus d, a plus k plus 2d till a plus k plus n minus 1 d, right? See here the difference between two consecutive term is d, here the difference between two consecutive term is d, here also d. This d is nothing but the common difference. Now here you just see. The difference between these two is still d, difference between these two is still d and so on, right? So what, what is happening over here? If you add a constant number to each term of an AP, still it will be an arithmetic progression, right? Still it will be an arithmetic progression. Okay, we added k to each term. Still, we are getting the difference between two consecutive terms to be d. Okay, so if you add a constant number, a constant to each term of an AP, still it will be an AP and the common difference will also be same. As we were having d over here, still it is d. You can take one example. Suppose I have an uh, arithmetic progression 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, right? This is a uh, arithmetic progression. The common difference between two consecutive terms is between the terms is 3. Okay. Now what if I add uh, maybe a number say 3, uh, maybe a number say 2. So the new sequence will be 4, then 7, then 10, then 13 and then 16. Okay. Still it is an AP and the common difference is still 10, 3. Okay, so that's very simple. So if you add a number or a constant to each term of an AP, still it will be an AP. Okay, and the common difference will also be same. So that is the first important property. Similarly, if you deduct a constant from each term, instead of adding K, if you deduct like this, so still it will be an AP because if you deduct this from this, still you'll be getting D, right? So Suppose this is the original sequence of 4, 10, 13, 16. From each term, if I am deducting 3, I will be getting this sequence. Still, it will be an AP. So, whether you add or subtract, add or subtract a constant to each term of an AP, still it will be an AP, okay? And with the same common difference, I must say. Next, Similarly, suppose I multiply each term of an AP by a constant quantity or number A, A plus D, A plus 2D till A plus N minus 1 D, right? I multiply the entire sequence, each term by a number K. So the new sequence is K A, K A plus K D, K A plus 2 K D and so on k a plus k n minus 1 d okay now difference between these two it is d here you can see the difference between these two is what k d the difference between these two is k a minus k a 0 2 k d minus k d is k d okay and so on so you can see still it is an ap because the difference between two consecutive term is same here it is KD, here it is KD and in the following coming terms also it will be KD. Okay. So common difference is same that means it is also an AP. Okay. So if you multiply each term of an arithmetic progression by a constant quantity still it will be an AP but in this case the common difference will be changed. Here the common difference was D, here the difference is KD. Now K is what number? The number by which you multiplied each term of this arithmetic sequence. Okay. So it is still an AP but the common difference will be that constant into D. That is a new common difference. Okay. Similarly, if you divide each term of this AP by K by a constant quantity, I, I can say. So it is A by K then A plus D by K and so on. Right? Still, it will be an AP. You can verify in the uh, with the uh, same uh, manner. 
still it will be an AP but the common difference will be T by K in this case. In this case the common difference was KD. In case of addition and subtraction common difference was same. In case of multiplication common difference is multiplied by that uh, constant and in case of division common difference is divided by that constant by which we are dividing each term. Okay, so the, all these properties must be clear in your mind. We can take examples also. Suppose I have now an arithmetic sequence 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, right? If I multiply each term by 2, what I'll be getting, or by 3, I, I can say, what I'll be getting 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. Here the common difference was 4. Okay, here the common difference is 12. I multiplied each term by 12 uh, by 3 so I'm what I'm getting as a common difference that is 4 into 3 that is the earlier common difference into that constant quantity okay still it is an AP and the common difference is 3 times because I multiplied each term by 3 similarly if you divide each term by a constant quantity suppose this is the initial progression and if you divide each term by 3 you'll be getting this sequence that means the common difference will also be one third Okay, so all these four properties must be clear in your mind. Now, one more important thing uh, that you'll be uh, an important, uh, maybe can, uh, you can say a uh, property or a concept that you'll be using while you're sol while you'll be solving the problems, right? Suppose you have to choose the three terms in AP, the three consecutive terms in AP. So what you do is you choose A minus D, A and A plus D. Now the, these three terms are in arithmetic progression because the difference between two consecutive terms is same, right? Now why we are choosing this? Because sup suppose some of the three terms um, has been given, right? The sum of these three terms have been has been given. Then what will happen? This D and this D will be cancelled out. So you'll be getting the value of A. So after that, the problem becomes very simple. Okay? So uh, when you have to choose the three consecutive terms in AP, you choose like this. When you have to choose five, then you do like this. Okay? So that's very simple, Funda. While we'll be, when we'll be solving the problems, I'll just uh, make a quick recap of this concept. And uh, in the next session, we'll be taking the problems based on arithmetic progression. Okay? Bye-bye.